DxO Lab has launched a very interesting software, DxO Pure Raw. In this video, I'm going to look how it works and will tell you how it will make your images better. And a spoiler alert, it's a game changer. Hi there, my name is Peter Voisgaard and I am a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we get into the software, a disclaimer. This video is not sponsored by anybody. DxO Mark, it's not DxO Mark. DxO did not ask me to do this video or anything like that. I just wanted to do it because I'm pretty excited about this software. I had a trial version of the software which I'm using, but it's exactly the same software. If you buy it, you, you just, you know, use it for 30 days and then if you're happy, then you buy it. Or like I did, did a few tests and got the software. DxO already has a very powerful image editing software called Photolab 4. I've been using it, but the only things that I've used are the optic modules, the deep prime uh, noise reduction and the overall enhancements. And guess what? All these three things are the ones or the features that are included in DxO Pure Raw. And voila, this is a lot better way of using those features. And it also has made the workflow a lot smoother, which is really an important thing. DxO Pure Raw fixes seven different problems. And those problems are demosaicing, denoising, more distortion, chromatic aberration, unwanted vignetting, and a lack of sharpness. And let's see how it really works. And let's look at some results. The interface is quite simple. You can either drag the photos or click here or here. If the opti optics module is not already downloaded to your computer, it will ask you to download it. It is really fast, as you can see. DxO has almost all the different cameras and lens combinations there are. So it's very good cover. They have massive amount of different uh, combinations. So most likely your camera and your lens can be found from those modules and it will support your camera and your or your camera and lens combination. And that's really a good thing. The only thing you need to do is to press the process button. Then you can choose either high quality prime and D prime. And this is the way it will handle the noise in the image. I would choose D prime because it is astonishingly good. It's the best that there is on the market. Then you can choose the output format. The options are JPEG and DNG, and you can also adjust the uh, compression on the JPEG, but I would use DNG so that I will have a raw file when it comes out of, of uh, this software. Then you press process. When the image is processed, you can export it to Lightroom or, or Photoshop. You can also choose to export the originals. I think this is a good thing. So then you have the originals and you have the corrected DNG, just in case you want to have the original for some reason. Maybe in the future, there is some other company that will make uh, images even better than you still have the original. So I would suggest you to have the original. But there is one interesting thing about the workflow that uh, this DxO this new software could also be used for, and I will tell you that I will tell about that in the end of this video or at the end of this video. And it opens the Lightroom, and it from here on it's about Lightroom, so I'm not going to cover that. If you're using Lightroom, you know what to do with your images most likely. Before you export, you can also check out the uh, image side by side, and as you can see. The results are really great. This one was taken, I think it was EM10 Mark uh, II with the 12 millimeter lens. So you can see that how much it improved the image. It, it looks like a totally different image. I know the original is all totally okay, but when you look at them side by side, you start thinking that maybe the original is not that okay. This, this is so good what it does. I'm, I'm totally, you know, sold out. Is that a, well, I'm totally sold to this software. Not like I already did, I've already purchased it. DxO Pure Raw will be part of my workflow from now on. I need to, you know, fine tune some things and how to do so they did more efficient. But it will be. It is. It is doing such a good job that I will. I will change my workflow because of this. And if you want that, there is a affiliate link in the description of this video, and they have a special launch price, which is eighty eighty nine ninety nine until thirty uh, first of May this year, twenty twenty one, and uh, after that it will be one hundred and twenty nine. I think about ninety euros for this software is is a good price. What it does, it's it's a very good value for money. It it can improve your images so much, which I, and I'm talking about technically, of course. 
everything else is up to you and your skill about photography. So remember that. And then the tip about the workflow. It actually works also as an imp importer. So you can uh, import your images to Lightroom through DxO Pure Raw. Just choose the uh, memory card where you import the images to, to the software. And then when you export, tick this on Lightroom will import both of those images, the original and the DNG. Of course, this gives you double amount of images, which might not be the most convenient way, but at least this will smoothen your workflow. And I think this workflow is something that I'm going to use. There are some tweakings, of course, I need to do, as I said, but I think this is totally fine like this. I really like this. And before I make a conclusion, let's look at a few images and compare the original and images that uh, has gone through DxO Pure Raw and see and compare what they actually look like after they've been processed. And the conclusion, as I already said, I have purchased this software and I can really recommend it for you too. Unless if you have the Photolab 4, then you might not need it if, if you are familiar with the, with that workflow that you use that software, it's, it's totally fine. But still, if you are using Lightroom, this uh, or this software makes your workflow a lot smoother versus using the Photolab 4. That's why I would recommend this software, even though if you have Photolab 4 and you use Lightroom or Photoshop. It makes it a lot smoother and nicer, the workflow I mean. There's one thing, look at this image from EM10 Mark II at ISO 800. It's totally clean. Of course, it's a test image. I just took it from the balcony, so it's not, not a very good photograph, but there is one thing that I can show with this image quite well. Look at the dynamic range that it actually added. Of course, it's not really adding dynamic range. Look how much you can open up the shadows from this image. There are a lot of dark areas in the image. And when you open it up after use the DxO Pure Raw and open up this image and open up the shadows and you can see the difference. It's totally mind blowing how good this software is. It, it opens up whole, totally new ways of editing your images and, and about how to expose your images and, and you know, to open up totally new ways of, of editing and, and what your images look like. And I think this is, that's why, as I said, it's a game changer. It is the best thing that has happened in image editing for, for a long, long time. And here are some more videos about how the noise reduction in DxO works. In this video about Photolab 4, there are more examples of how this works because it's the same noise reduction engine on DX. Pure raw than at, uh, as the Photolab 4 has. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.